car back to Florida. I don't think I'm gonna go home officially, like for good. I don't know if you can hear me. It's really loud in my car right now. So yeah, I decided to drive my car back to Florida. I left at three in the morning this time versus when I left Florida at midnight or like 1.30, whatever. This drive sucks mainly because two hours in I got pulled over um, by a state trooper. I was going 92 and a 50. <laughs> It's not funny. It's literally not funny. And I'm really stupid. I drive like an idiot. And then I went to get gas like an hour ago and I gave the guy, first of all, my card stopped working because for once in my life, I've literally had this card since 2015. For once TV decides to like, you know, see if something is fraudulent. Um, not sure why today was the day, but they put a hold on my card. My card wasn't working, so thank God I had cash. I gave the guy like 40 bucks. No, no, no. So it was $40.01. I gave him 40 and I was like, oh, okay. and, I, and then I gave him a 10. And I was like, can you break this? Just because like I don't have any, I don't have a penny. And I was going to tip him. He gives me back a five. And I go, I was like, oh, um, like I gave you a 10. He was like, no, you didn't. I was like, I gave you a 10. He's like, oh, sorry. He tried to take my fucking five as a tip. So then I was like, you know what, fuck this. So I basically gave him a 99 cent tip, which is rude. But like, he tried to fucking steal my money. So fuck that. So right now, I I think I'm technically still in Jersey. But I'm about to be in Delaware. Um. Oh yeah, and I also almost got in like a fucking seven car car accident because two cars wanted to try and fuck with me. One was slamming on their brakes, the other one was riding my ass. Every time I tried to pass them, they both tried to lock me in. And then I zoomed by them and they got so mad that I did. Which just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I'm a dick when I drive, but like if someone's clearly going five times faster than I am, I'm not gonna stop them. That's just dumb. Like if I'm going 50 and someone wants to go 100, I'm not gonna just like cut them off and stay in front of them. But if I'm going 100 and someone wants to go 100, I'm not gonna move, they can go around me. That's just my logic here. So right now, I think, I think it's seven in the morning. I can't tell, oops. I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure it's 7 a.m. Um, it says, so I was gonna try and drive all the way through. I put in my maps just Jacksonville because there's a hotel that like, honestly, I really wouldn't mind staying at. It's just like a cheap ass Marriott. I think it was like 60 bucks or 70 bucks. Like if I really need to do that, I'll do it. I don't want to, but honestly, even if I did, I might feel way better sleeping in a bed and like I'll be able to shower. And then by the time I leave, I think the hotel is like four hours, maybe five hours away from my apartment. So like, I'll just leave at like 5 a.m. and then get home at like 10 or 11. Like that would be perfect timing. Yeah, I have about 12 hours to go, which honestly is not that bad. I just, I hate driving through cities. Like I love when just like, it's just, open road and no one's on it i swear to god this was like the scariest drive so far getting pulled over i knew it was gonna be a fucking rough one i'm fucking saying this four hours in oh my god i remember when i first did this drive i was like so fucking mind blown by it and now it's just like mm, it's whatever all right i am going to pick this up a little bit later Maybe like when I'm in South Carolina. I don't really want to film that much just because like at this point you guys know the fucking gist of this trip. Um, done it three times now. So you know where I'm going. You know where I'll be at. Um, but yeah, this was a little bit of an interesting beginning to my trip. So I just wanted to, you know, document it because who the fuck knows what else is going to happen. That's really stupid. Knock on wood. All right. Bye. Okay. We, <laughs> this really isn't normal. Like, I shouldn't be fucking doing this. Um, <coughs> just casually going 100 and vlogging. So, I think I'm in Virginia. I'm, like, almost out of Virginia, which is concerning because I'm pretty sure it's, like, 10 o'clock in the morning. I left my house at 3.15, which means that I have been driving for seven hours. I literally got to D.C., in under six hours and i'm pretty sure dc is like a seven and a half hour drive to, from my house i'm starving i got a coffee and 
tried to get a muffin, like I was gonna eat it, and then I realized that I have like fucking acrylics on still, and I'm not eating the muffin because it's just gonna get shit in my nails, so. Now I'm hungry. Literally a muffin and a coffee was $9. I'm not really sure how that would have happened, but that's awesome. So yeah, I guess I will pick this up when I'm closer. I don't know if I mentioned this. I'm going to Jacksonville. I got a hotel. So I'm pretty amped. Love hotels. All right, I'm probably gonna pick this up at the hotel, but honestly, who the fuck knows? So um, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so in North Carolina, um, I got pulled over again. But this time we got a written warning. This time I'm pissed because the first time, yeah, whatever, I deserved it. But the second time, no. The first time I literally like zooted by someone so I totally understand why they pulled me over and I was going pretty fast. But this time around, I'm pissed. I was literally watching this man, the state trooper, yet again, was watching the state trooper pull someone else over and like we were all were passing them, like about to pass them but then they like went back into the highway. So now the state trooper is like in front of me and we're going the same speed. And like, I've been behind state troopers before and like I, or just cops in general. And I'm always like, all right, like keep your distance. Like they won't notice you, like whatever. So I'm keeping my distance. And like all of a sudden, mind you, we're maybe going 80 like together and the speed limit is 70, but he's so far ahead of me. Like I just am like, okay, like he has no idea. I'm like behind him. He slams on his brakes pulls over, swings right in behind me, and turns his lights on. So this time around he gave me a written warning, which is fucking bullshit. So now I actually really have to drive safe, and I'm not, but it's just so annoying, because it's like, there's so many other people that are driving like actual assholes and like doing stupid shit, and I'm like, dude, like, pull these other fucking idiots over, not me. I'm going fucking eight miles over the speed limit. I think I have about five hours to go which isn't that bad, and it's maybe like one o'clock, two o'clock, I forget, but it's like 60 degrees and it's getting warmer and I'm so excited. I started thinking of things that I could like film later because I have the hotel for the night by myself. And I started to think about my last video, which I didn't, I don't I don't know if this is gonna be posted first. Actually, no, I just posted it, it's the road trip one, the last, the last road trip one. I was talking about going to Waffle House and I wanna go so bad, maybe I'll, I think my hotel's next to one. Maybe I'll go. I really, really want to go. It's like a legit bucket list thing at this point. I want to go to Waffle House so bad. Um, I will pick this back up. I love that I keep saying I'm going to pick this back up at the hotel and I am not. But this was a little bit of a turn of events that I wanted to put in the video. Oh my God, the guy in front of me, his tires are legit flat. Um, are they going to explode? I wish you could just like rent the road by yourself. That would be so cool. This guy's literally driving on the grass. I'm the one that gets pulled over, but these people are fucking driving upside down. Like, okay. All right, I'm gonna go. Hello. I am in the hotel. Whee! So basically, um, I'm pissed right now because, you know, I got to the hotel. My sister actually helped book this. So like, shout out to her. Um, she paid for it for, I don't know why. She was being really nice. Um, so I get to the hotel and I'm in Jacksonville, Florida right now. So I'm about like four hours, five, but like it takes me four hours to get back to Miami. So here's a little tour of the room. <laughs> Okay, so cool, great tour. Honestly, this hotel is like really nice. Um, it's like one of those airport hotels, so like they're just cheaper rates just because they're like not really near things, but I like just wanted to be off the highway, so I didn't really care. Um, so with COVID, like basically like room service and stuff like that, I think is just like put to a stop. But also look how cool this window is. It's like fucking massive. That's my car. Wait, no, that's, that's my car. I think, I don't know. Um, but with COVID, 
like there's like no housekeeping and there's like really no room service and stuff so um I was like okay like I kind of just had like McDonald's but like I might be hungry later and I know there's a bar so I was like fuck it like let me go downstairs and like see what it is about whatever like let's go downstairs and see like what's going on so I look at the menu and I was like okay first of all like it's just like hotel prices it's like wicked expensive I'm not paying fucking $15 for a salad that I'm not gonna eat so I was like fuck it I'm not hungry but I was like let's look at the drinks because like kind of want to drink a little bit fuck it it's like a little mini va mini vacation so i'm looking and i'm like do i want to drink or do i just want to like buy a beer or something and i see that they have seltzers and i'm like ooh. i was like let me get two seltzers and she's like oh i have trulies like whatever and i'm like oh my god awesome let me get two they're right there please someone guess how much i just spent for those two two seltzers they're like not the like tall boys they're not like the huge cans they are normal cans of truly i bought two for 18 dollars, and then i had a tipper so i just gave her 20. i spent 20 dollars and literally just bought two fucking cans that i could have went to the gas station and spent four dollars on so um i'm just kind of pretending like i didn't just do that and this is why i have no money Um, there's like people outside my door so if I go missing and you find this video um, hi I'm at the Marriott in Jacksonville and I got kidnapped by my neighbors but anyways who cares um, while I stay alive I'm going to drink my seltzers probably just gonna shock on them because honestly I want to get drunk if I just spent $20 on two fucking little tiny drinks I'm gonna get fucked up so let's let's just have a, a fucking party by ourselves okay beautiful i know this is gonna be a rage alone all right i have no idea if you can like hear or really even see me because it's so dark but we are finishing the drive to miami um once again going 100 around people um it is 7 a.m and i think i have about like two and a half hours not bad i woke up at like five and showered and stuff i really like that hotel i don't know why i was so obsessed with it i really wanted to try and go out this morning to eat i wanted to film myself trying waffle house for the first time but honestly after some digging i read that they had charged like mad money to do takeout which is fine but I'm not really trying to invest in that right now especially because i just got a hotel um and had to pay like a hundred dollars in gas just to do this drive so not really into that idea right now i think i'm in daytona no i'm in new smyrna or around that area so yeah i have like three hours but it's probably gonna go by fast i think there's a cop in front of me let's not get pulled over again oh my god literally knock on wood because that was fucking stupid to say all right well um I hope these videos help if anyone ever wants to do an unnecessary road trip for 22 hours. Um, highly recommend, but um, I'll let you know where the cops are so you don't get pulled over twice in one day like uh, I did.